What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tommy Sotomayor. I'm in a fighting mood. It's 1.52 in the morning. Just put my daughter to bed. Yeah, I know that's kind of bad parenting, but it's Thanksgiving and all that stuff. She get to stay up late. Now I'm ready to go in. Now, there was something that happened today on my page. We were talking and, you know, it always goes down on my page. There was a woman who said to me in the middle of an argument, she said, I'll pray for you. Now, this was after the motherfucker cussed me out. Now, I don't want to offend no, nobody, but it don't matter what the fuck I do with offend people. Even my fucking Thanksgiving Day message got dumbass black bitches saying stupid shit that I never said. So, fuck it. Here it goes. Have you guys noticed, and every one of you guys have, I'm sure, noticed that black women tend to take pride in telling motherfuckers, I'll pray for you when they get mad. I've never understood this practice because you just got through cussing my black ass out. Now all of a sudden you're going to pray for me. Have any of you had a whore tell you this? I'm sure you have. So what I did was I came up with a few notes because the woman who told me that she would pray for me right after she cussed me out had a brand new baby with no damn man, head full of weave and tattoos. Now you got to ask yourself, who the fuck would want this person praying for them? As a matter of fact, why the fuck is it that black women never offer to pray for your black ass when you would need some fucking prayer? See, the bitch never walked up to me when the motherfuckers was attacking me, releasing my information, calling my daughters all kind of name. She didn't say, hey, I'm going to pray that they stop fucking with you. She didn't pray for that. You know what the bitch prayed for? That I come off of my understanding of life and get on the hers. Who the fuck is that? Have you noticed that black women only ask or only make this comment as some condescending ass form of ending a discussion? You ever notice that black women use motherfucking blue eyed Jesus and they God almost like an attack dog? They don't tell you I'll pray for you when your ass is coughing. None of them bitches called to pray for me when my phone got cut off, when they was threatening to cut a nigga lights off, when a nigga was broke. They didn't say I'll pray for you. Bitches had nothing to say to me. I wasn't getting hate, wasn't getting thumbs down because bitches didn't give a fuck. If tomorrow I get kicked out of my house, not one of them bitches would say a fucking thing. As a matter of fact, the same people who say they'll pray for you are the same people who gloat when something bad happens to you. You know, like how all these motherfuckers is running around doing stupid shit and y'all are going and clapping for them. Last thing I would do is clap for somebody doing some dumb shit to somebody else just because I don't like the person they're doing dumb shit to. That's just me, though. Last thing I'd do is encourage them to continue to do more dumb shit to that person that I've never met, that I don't know, just because <laughs> I don't like what they posted. But this is how far black women have fucking fallen. So after the woman posted that and told me she'll be praying for me to end the conversation, I reminded her, bitch, I don't want you to pray for me. Because nine times out of ten, the people who are trying to pray for you end up trying to pray on you. If you don't know the difference between AY and EY, then shut the fuck up. Now, when you got people that saying they'll pray for you, they hoping that you fall. They praying for your downfall. Why would you let anybody pray for you? And I told her, I said, look here, bitch, and here's the five things that I want all of y'all to realize and to say to anybody that says they want to pray for you. I put it up on my page. You can go and enjoy it on my fan page. Either one of them. It's got the same shit. Here we go. I said TJPSA. That's a TJ Public Service Announcement. Look, whores, stop offering to pray for people just because you couldn't get them to agree with you in an argument. First off, if you were coming, to, if you were going to pray for me, then shouldn't it be before you were being an asshole to me? Second off, if you were cussing me out, then maybe you should be praying for yourself first before praying for anyone else. Third off. If you got bastard kids, then it would seem that you have a closer relationship to strange dick than you do to God. So why would I want you praying for me? Fourth off, why don't you pray that that damn weave addiction? Why don't you pray that damn weave addiction away? That one day you wake up and love the person that you see in the mirror before trying to pray that a strange man on the Internet will post shit that make you feel better about yourself. And lastly, Show that that prayer actually works for your own jacked up life and beliefs before offering to pray for somebody else's. This is why I hate black Christians, because white Jesus allows them to want to change the lives and thinking of everyone else. But they motherfucking self do that first before you pray for somebody else. Now, understand, people, 
I say this because, again, black women especially seem to only use the I'll pray for you when they trying to fuck with you. They don't say they'll pray for you when there's something good happening or pray that something good happens to you. If the only time you say you'll pray for me is because I say something you don't like and don't agree with you. It's pretty fucked up. And the fact that you use God in such a condescending manner, if there really was a God, he would probably strike you down. Because why would you use him as some type of battering ram to somebody else when you use him as this big shield? Motherfucking shields up on Star Trek. Phasers on lock. You got your shields up and you're shooting your phasers at other people. That's how you use the Bible. Every time somebody say something about you, God know my heart. Shields up. Nobody's perfect. Shields up. Soon as a nigga say something that you don't like, though, you don't say, hey, nobody's perfect. Tommy's not perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody doesn't have to praise. You don't turn into Molly Cyrus then, do you? Nope. Whenever somebody else fuck up, you notice that black women got every fucking thing to say about them. Cuss them out. And then when you say something about them, they turn straight into Christians. God knows my heart. Everyone has sinned. I told a girl her child was a bastard. She told me there's no my child not a bastard. My child a blessing. I said, look up the fucking word in the Bible in the dictionary. It don't say what you said. You make the Bible say whatever you want it to say. I pray for you. Why don't you pray for yourself to get a fucking understanding of the dictionary in the Bible? The one you claim you following. How the fuck you get all these kids out of wetlock? How the fuck you have all these tattoos and this weave in your head? That goes against fully the Bible. Women in the Bible covered up their heads. You not only don't cover up your head to uh, for vanity, you put on somebody else's hair that you feel is more beautiful than you. Why would I let you pray for me? You have no relationship with God. Black women's relationship with God is so fucking foreign. You swear they were speaking Latin. For those who don't know, it is a dead language. That's how your relationship with your white God is. It's dead because all it does is allow you to fuck with other people while shielding you against any attack. No matter what it is you do. As a matter of fact, you black whores don't even like the fact that somebody brings up that you just said you were saved. You just sucked my dick last night. I oh, didn't have nothing to do with it. God knows my heart. Yeah, he know your heart as you like sucking dick. You got kids out of wedlock and then trying to tell a nigga you a new virgin. Three weeks later, I'm fucking the shit out of you. But you saying it has nothing to do with anything. I used to fuck a chick who was the motherfucking Bible study teacher. And we would have threesomes before she would go to the Bible study meeting. This is the this is the crux of a black Christian, a black female Christian, a liar, a hypocrite who will tell you in a minute that she's going to pray for you when she think you're doing wrong. Well, how far do your prayers go, ma'am? You can't even pray that you can't even pray that fucking fat off you. You got all kind of diabetes and shit because you can't stay away from hog mogs and chitlins. So God can't save you from your own fucking self. Let me say this again, bitches. God can't save you from your own fucking self. You run around, can't even take weave out your head. Black bitches run around and tell other black bitch that wear her natural hair. You got courage. It takes courage now to walk out and be a black woman, son of a bitch. Had no idea that shit was that difficult. Your hair is just a bad thing, ain't it, bitch? You got all these bastard kids. You got all these motherfucking photos on Facebook and Twitter of you half naked in the bathroom with motherfucking douche bottles around and unflushed toilets. And some of you nasty bitches got your damn mama and grandmama and children taking the damn photos. But afterwards, you same bitches will turn around and say, the Lord know my heart. Everybody has sinned and come so to the glory of the Lord. That's why y'all like being, y'all love Jesus being your man. You don't have to do shit. If you got a real nigga that's in your house, if your ass suck another dick, he going to have a problem. If you got a real nigga in the house and your ass is up there with your leg on the chandelier, he might say something. When you got Jesus, what the fuck does he say to you? Let me ask you something, bitches. What's the last time Jesus told you to stop doing what you was doing? When's the last time Jesus got mad at you for getting online and cussing me out? 
When's the last time Jesus got mad because you created fake Twitters and fake YouTube accounts calling me gay and releasing my damn information, putting out my damn phone number? Who? When's the last time Jesus popped up and said, hey, you should stop that? That's why you love Jesus. There's no accountability. Matter of fact, black women have no idea what the fuck the word accountability means. As a bitch, you don't know what accountability means. She said, yes, I do. One, two, three, four, five. I got the ability to count. That's what's wrong with you bitches. You use words and don't know what they damn mean. Accountability. Bitch, it means that you hold yourself to whatever standard you hold yourself to. And if you fall short, you don't mind letting motherfuckers know. When's the last time you heard a black bitch say my bad? When's you last time you heard a black bitch say, you right, I did that shit. I've been in a relationship with bitches, caught them in the middle of doing some shit. They will lie. And you show them a picture, they'll still lie. Never understood this. You hold on to the lie that tightly. You know, the one that you're mixed with um, Cherokee. That's why your hair look like that. But then when I start dating you and I feel all them tracks in there, you act like you didn't say none of that shit when we was at the dinner table at motherfucking Outback Steakhouse. You remember that shit, bitch? Nope. You don't give a fuck. That's in the past, nigga. That's a black woman's favorite line. That shit's in the past, nigga. Get over it. You said it yesterday. That's right, nigga. That's the past. Don't be holding me to old shit. Because that God that you sicking on me somehow shields your motherfucking ass. From any criticism. You don't even read the Bible. Because the Bible tells you. That a that man is here to judge other man. Tells you that. Openly. Yet you bitches run around and say. You ain't supposed to judge nobody else. Okay black women. Let me, let me explain this to you. If you honestly believe what you say. When you say it's against God to judge somebody else. Then stay the fuck off my fan page. Because I don't bring shit on my fan page to you. Stay the fuck off my Twitter. Because I don't tweet shit to you. I don't even know you. Stop fucking with me on YouTube. Because I don't know you. If you really believe that. If your prayers worked. Why is your cholesterol so high? Why are your three kids by three different men? Why do you run around and spread more gossip than motherfucking Perez Hilton? Why is it that the only time your prayer works is when you're trying to... Black women are superstitious as fuck. That's why they keep saying it. It's the black woman's version of voodoo. They hoping something bad come, happens to you. Whenever a person gets into an argument with you and say, I will pray for you to end the argument, they're hoping something bad happens to you. And what type of Christian is that? It's a black female Christian, a hypocrite, a person who used their Bible, their God as a shield against criticism while being able to criticize ad nauseum. I, I hate to keep using fucking words that other motherfuckers probably don't get. So the next time you offer to pray for somebody, bitch, make sure that the prayers work in your own life. Make sure that you've been able to pray for yourself and get something happen. Pray that motherfucking perm out your head. Pray that motherfucking weave out your head. Pray that sperm out your pussy that you keep getting from random niggas from the club named Doracell and Man Man. Pray that funky ass attitude out. You remember because the Bible tells you to respect a man? Pray that nasty fucking attitude out. Pray that out before you try to pray about what I post on Facebook. Or pray about what another man says to you. And men and women, because women, y'all know I'm telling the truth that some women do that shit to you too when they get mad at you. Remember, the next time a motherfucker tell you they're going to pray for you, kick them in the face. Then tell them to pray that the medical attention come now, the police come before you stomp their motherfucking ass out like Kurt Franklin and the motherfucking Blue Man group just showed up. I'm Tommy Sotomayor. Pray on that, bitch.